YouTube, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider, your good old friend HDR. If you're new to the channel, we are aboard the Road Glide Ultra. She's been a good machine, a really, really good machine to me. And today's topic is motorcycle anxiety. <laughs> motorcycle anxiety. Now, what do I mean by this? Everybody says that I'm got the gloves on because I'm actually just, uh, we'll talk about that in one minute. But everybody says that riding a motorcycle releases stress and you feel so much better and, and, and the, all, the, all the motorcycle gods are with you and you're getting wind therapy. Okay. All right. With all that going down. Okay. We do. We know that. Right. It's all good. Here's the problem. Motorcycle anxiety. Now, I just completed some work on my motorcycle today. And uh, if you've been following the channel, you'll know uh, recently that I was going out to buy a... Uh, hi. I was going out to buy a uh, Synthetic 3 uh, motor oil. Synth uh, synthetic motor oil for the bike. Oil filter. Uh, and I also had to change the primary. Okay. This is what gives me motorcycle anxiety, okay? So you say HDR, just take it to the take it to the shop and drop it off and let them take care of it. Well, and you know, I'm, I'm thinking there's gonna be a sequence of times, like every so many thousands of miles, I'm gonna do that, okay? I've been doing everything myself by the manual. So you take the manual, which if you want the link, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna link the Facebook group below. Okay, so you can get your free manual for your motorcycle. All you have to do is be able to download a PDF, okay? Which is a portable document format, a PDF file like Adobe, okay? I'll put a link down there for the for the Facebook group. Now you can join the group, you just type in your year of motorcycle, whatever you have, and you can download the whole entire manual. Now, I've said this before, people go, oh, yeah, it's still it. You should go to Harley and buy it for $200. No, I'm telling you folks how to acquire your shop manual for your motorcycle. So I go through the shop manual. I go from head to toe, A to Z, and I check everything that it tells me to check for the mileage. This particular service was the 20,000-mile service. So first thing I did, I got back to the house after driving 80 miles looking for synthetic oil, which it's in a little bit of a shortage right now. So if you need it, or if you think you're going to need it in the near future, start buying it now. Start looking for it and buy, buy a case now, okay? All right, so I get back to the house. I put the bike in the garage. I let it sit for about 20 minutes just to let the oil wall kind of sump down to the, you know, to the drain. I get under it with my 5 8 inch socket and I crack the plug, okay? That's the easy part. I don't mind changing the oil. The oil to me is, is I've done it now at least five or six times on this bike. Now, what I do is, I talked to you earlier about on the last video, and if you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. What are you doing? You should be watching my other videos. Watch them all. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you what I did. So. I changed the transmission, even though it's synthetic, it's good for 10,000 miles. I change it every five. Because you know what? For the cost of a new engine versus the cost of the synthetic oil, for it takes four quarts of oil in the motor. All right, four quarts. One quart of oil for the primary, one quart of oil for the transmission. All right. So actually, it's six quarts of oil. But what I do is I rotate the transmission and the primary. I give them the full 10,000 miles. I'm running red line in my transmission, which I love red line. I think it's thicker. And uh, it just, it, it, it makes the gears just shift so much smoother. Okay, that's why I really like that. And then uh, I use the Synth 3, the Synthetic 3, in my primary case. Right? I've been using it ever since I bought the motorcycle. This is where my anxiety sets in. I cannot stand taking that derby cover off. Is it just me? Is, 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 is it my psychosis? But I get very, very anxious and I get anxiety. And Miss Stacey, I said, why the hell would you get anxiety? You've been changing all your oils for a while now. I said, 
because to me with them aluminum screws in there and them aluminum mop uh, threads in there I'm just so scared of cross threading something and really screwing my whole motor up and I get very anxious and I get very uh, uneasy about that process and like I'm putting the screws in I'm actually shaking and, and that's no lie guys you know I'm very transparent to all the viewers out there and I'm very open uh, to, to what I feel and how I do things, but, uh, and I'm not a trained licensed mechanic, so I get really nervous about them stupid der uh, derby cover screws. I, I don't know why they didn't make them galvanized steel and make a steel case or something to put them things in, uh, you know, and there's a torque spec, and the torque spec is 84 inch pounds. So now you got to really look at your torque wrench, right? Because everything else, all the other plugs are foot pounds. And I, I tightened those down to 14. I think it was 14 to 24 foot pounds. I tend to stay very much on the light side when I'm tightening a bolt on a motorcycle. And uh, I got about 14, 15 foot pounds for those. But I went 84 inch pounds for your 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 derby cover derby cover uh, screws. Okay, so. You tighten them pretty good with a, I just like make them snug. You go around a star pattern, right? You do a star pattern on them, make them snug. And then just hit them with the torque wrench. Click, 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 and I'm done, right? But why do I get so anxious over there? Why do I have such anxiety over that process? I mean, even the transmission. The first time I did the transmission, I was like, oh my God, I, I'm going to screw something up here because there's the dipstick is in there with an Allen wrench. Like, you got to get this big Allen wrench, stick it down there. And you, uh, why didn't they just make it so it screws out? Harley, what the hell? Why do we got to have tools to get our dipsticks out of the bike? I don't get it. Anyway, so, regardless, do you ever get motorcycle anxiety working on your bike? <coughs> you know, Putting lights on this stuff is not too hard for me. Um, I've been kind of used to uh, and been kind of adapted to plugging lights in, tearing the front fairing off now. And uh, first time we did that, I was I had a lot of anxiety over that too. I didn't think it'd go back on, but um, I don't know. I guess uh, <coughs> Mrs. A. Shirt will tell you I'm a computer nerd, man. I'm a computer guy. I could tear a computer apart. I can solder components in it. I could rebuild a computer system. But you put me around a car with tools, and I'm just like, ah, because I know if I strip something out, I can't fudge it because it's going to leak, right? I can't really goof off because it's going to leak. Just like those little gaskets. Everybody tells you on, on the bolts that go into your uh, your plugs, your drain plugs. Well, just inspect them and see if they look okay. You know what? For the cost of them, like, what are they, like 60 cents a piece or whatever? Um I put new ones on. I'm, I'm not fooling around with that. So it just doesn't make sense to me to fool around with a, a 60 cent part. Just put it on. Throw the old one away. Who cares? So anyway, the next thing I get anxiety about is when I take it off my first test drop. That's what I'm doing right now. Why I don't have any gloves on it. Just pulled out of the garage. I put all my tools away. I stopped to check it once. I do hit the, this button and check the oil pressure and it says it's okay. So I guess the oil is doing fine at that point. When I get back to the house, I will check the oil dipstick again to make sure, but I did put four full quarts in, and it was full on the dipstick when I left. So I stopped once. I didn't see any leaks anywhere, so I guess we're uh, going to be okay. Um, but this is the big part of my anxiety, too, is the test ride. <coughs> so again, you're probably saying, HDR, well, hey, uh, you know, dumbass, why are you doing it yourself? Just uh, take it to the shop and let them do it. And you're probably right probably right I mean it already cost me $80 for uh, the synthetic three oil today in the gasket kit it's like 80 bucks so uh, but you know what honestly guys I'm gonna tell you something uh, I want it's not even about saving money uh, I really don't care about that uh, when on the bike itself go ahead go ahead come on I really don't care about that, honestly. Here's what I care about is, um, to me, it's just the satisfaction of being able to do it myself. You know, I got my own tools now. I got my own garage. I can pull the bike in there. Maybe one day I'll have a lift where I can pick it up and actually see what I'm doing. Because the, the, the derby cover, ah, 
say you, you're laying on the ground, you're trying to get them little screws in there. Make them longer too, Harley. A little bit longer would help. <coughs> They're hard to start hand threading because, you know, your hands are all oily and everything. But but, uh, but it is the satisfaction I get when I go home here. If, not, if I have no leaks, I'm going to have a shot in the beer and say, damn good job, Jack. You know, you did it. You know, uh, once again, you're good for another 5,000 miles. So... Uh, it does, it makes me feel good, you know, to uh, be able to do something on my own motorcycle and not always uh, have to rely on people to do it for me. Uh, just like when Chad comes over, Chad's going to be coming over on July 17th. I hope we still got a, a handlebar date. <laughs> and uh, he said, HDR, you're going to do all the work. He's just going to be there as my coach, which is fine. I want to learn how to do it myself and uh, be able to take care and put bars on my own bike. I mean, why not? I wonder if I want to change them again and, and Chad's busy. So, but folks, I hope uh, you don't have motorcycle anxiety. And if you ever did, please be honest about it. Put it in the comments below. I want to know, have you ever had motorcycle anxiety for doing something on your own motorcycle? Or even taking it to the shop and just leaving it in somebody else's hands. That could be give you a lot of motorcycle anxiety also. Until then, get out there. Get yourself some wind therapy. Sorry about the no gloves, but again, this is just a test ride, and we go down and fill the bike up with gas, and we'll put her back in the garage for another day and uh, have a shot and a beer to celebrate if I don't have any leaks. I hope I'm going to be okay. I think I'll be all right, though. So far, it looks good. So until next time, remember, ride your ride. Be safe out there. Harley Day Rider will be down and out in the beautiful southwestern Pennsylvania with all these big trailers coming through here at Mach 25. I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.